here, getting it set to when he gets in the car, I'll loosen the bag up and then uh, he'll start getting himself in position and then what we're going to do is start packing it around him, get him square in the car, <laughs> arms length, ready to go. It's going to be tight and then I'm going to take the pressure off, so go ahead and get in. It's, uh, it's one of the most important moments of, of the season. This is where you set yourself up in the car with your teammate and you know you have to feel everything in the car. That's, the seat is probably one of the most important setup around the car so you want to make sure you've got support in the back, support uh, in your spine so you can feel everything that's happening. Because you're the tallest one, so we're going to make you comfortable, and the other guys will fit you. The problem is with that heat rate, so I don't know. It's important to be very focused today. <laughs> well, obviously, right now we're trying to build a seat for the for the car for the new season, um, and for us, the seat is probably one of the most important areas that we really need to focus on as drivers because these cars have phenomenal G's. You know, three and a half, nearly to four G through a corner, um, especially like Sebring where it's bumpy and you're moving around a lot you really need to feel pretty secure. So uh, we take a lot of time in trying to make sure that you know, the seat fits us nice and snug so we feel actually part of the car as well, which helps mm -hmm. with feedback and, and you know, just, just getting a feel for what the car's doing. Yeah, it also, if the seat isn't quite right, it fatigues you. And we're in the car for such a long time, sometimes three hours, maybe more. And if you're having to hold yourself in at all and the seat isn't, the seat should really take the strain and just allow you to focus on your inputs and what's going on with the car rather than kind of tensed up and supporting yourself. So it's very important to make sure that the, the, the seat's correct. You wouldn't believe the bruises and, and problems, not just back problems. Yeah, back problems like that, yeah. and trapped nerves and maybe even two stints in an improper seat can take months and months of I remember 2007, I mean, we, we, all, had, yeah. we all had the courage back. You know, mm. just the, Everyone was having back problems because the way the, the seats were made to begin with and the way the pedals were, you were all twisted. Um, and then later on we discovered that we could actually manoeuvre the seat a little bit to be a little bit more straight with the body, mm. uh, which then took some of the strain out of the lower back. Yeah, mm. your, your hips and everything, it's really, you really know when it's not right. Yeah. And, and what you, as you gain experience and drive different cars and make more seats, you know what you want from a seat. And, it becomes thing, an easier process. The other thing is, like, you sit in, in here, we're in the workshop, you do a seat and then you go out on the racetrack, you all of a sudden you think, oh, hang on, I'm sitting too high, you know, or I'm sitting too low, or you go around the first corner fast and you go, ah, oh, that's digging in, or, you know, so the seat, modifications to the seat don't actually change for quite a while. And then once they're done, that's it, you, you, you know, you cover them nicely and, um, we don't touch them for a while after that, but it takes a while for us to get to that process. You know, we, we, we want to make sure that we get out of Sebring in, in good shape because we've got the rest of the season to, to do.